Dennis Martinez here with OTS Off the Street. I'm with Jay Adams, legendary skateboarder, dog towner uh, from the early 70s. Uh, still strong going on here in the 2010. And um, we're just down here at the Claremont Skate Park right now, sitting in the bowl. So you guys never really competed against each other, but how was your interaction back in the 70s? Good friends. Yeah. We used to love skating together. There was a little dog town down south rivalry thing going on that the magazines made, but we didn't pay attention to it. I think that was Alva and a couple other guys. Maybe him. <laughs> play against play, Alva. Play not me. Playing into it. Yeah, it, it sold boards for us, you know. It, it, it kept our name going. And uh, but yeah, between us and Dogtown, you know, down southers and Dogtown, it was uh, we, we were good friends. You know, I guess I could speak for. For me, and uh, I know that Jay will say the same thing about it, uh, you know, when we used to go to competitions and stuff together, it was all about uh, just being there together. It, was, it wasn't really about the competition. It's nice to get first place, but, you know, just hanging out with uh, you know guys like him, that, that was what made the whole trip. What did people in San Diego think of the whole Dogtown scene? Uh, the people in San Diego, you know, some people took it, you know, uh, seriously, you know, and, uh, uh, but again, those were the guys that were really underground and, uh, they were really into the like mainstream with us. Who Gunner Hugo? <laughs> Remember that guy? Gunner Hugo. One and, uh, foot Burt. Yeah, you know, but different guys like that. But you know, like Frank Zappa and a lot of Mikey Lears and all those kind of guys. That, but they had mad respect for the dog towners. You know, they had to because you know the the, the, the aggressive style that they brought into skateboarding. And what did Dogtown think of San Diego, Jay? I used to like it because the waves are good. <laughs> And there's good skaters. I mean, I don't know. I, I just tried to make friends everywhere I went, and I, you know, still got friends to this day. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Hey. So, yeah, my whole deal back then was just making friends everywhere, and I'm lucky I did because I still got a bunch of them to this day. This guy's one of them. <laughs> okay, let's talk about, like, you guys, like, uh, lived in separate areas, but it almost seems like went down the same path. And it's funny, it's like full circle bringing you back together now. You want to talk about that a little bit, Dennis? Well, you know, San Diego, L.A., I mean, you're, you're only talking about an hour and a half, two hour demographics, you know, and uh, uh, both skaters, both coming up in the 70s, uh, both reaching peaks of fame quickly, uh, both disappearing quickly because <laughs> of the drug scene. I, got, I mean, even more so me, you know, because the drugs fully took over. Jay never quit skating. My turn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, drugs love everybody. I mean, they're not going to uh, stop guys. <laughs> they're not going to not go over that line from San Diego to L.A. Yeah, it doesn't take everybody down. It doesn't discriminate. It yeah. doesn't have any. Uh, they love know, to destroy everybody. They don't care if it's an hour and a half away or three million miles away. Man, dope doesn't discriminate. Yeah. <laughs> so but now you guys have like uh, gotten things back together. You, Dennis. Uh, you know you're. You know, you got an incredible story going on now, and you're bringing Jay into the things. How's that? How does it feel to like, like, come full circle with him? Well, you know, for me, you know, you got your guys that you looked up to in the early '70s, even though you know we're about at the same height of uh, skating and stuff like that. But you know, every one of us has somebody that was uh, their favorite skater, and you know, mine was Jay Adams back in the day. Rubber man, zipper head, radical style. Uh, you could always expect something insane when he was around, and. You know, to know his story and know where he, where he's been and what he's been through. You know, it's a similar story, and stuff. And then now to to do something differently, uh, and and still be able to make a difference now today, uh, I think it's great. And Jay, the path that you've taken has brought you back here right now. What is uh? I mean, how does it feel coming back full circle like with Dennis right now with this? Well, I'm just blessed to be alive and to be able to be here. And be breathing, you know. We made a lot of mistakes, and hopefully, we can uh, help some kids not make those mistakes that we made and travel down the same road we did. So, just there's more purpose in life, you know, hanging around Dennis and doing what he's doing and being involved with him. So, it just feels good to be here, man. You know, it feels good to be alive and to be able to go skateboarding again. Very fortunate and blessed to be able to do this. A lot of guys didn't make it, you know? That's for real. Well, then a lot of guys, too, that are uh, uh, still out there, but not doing what we're doing, you know what I mean? 
just they're into the skate scene, but we're into changing lives today, especially the youth.